manifestation to my mind, especially in the upcoming times, is much more going to move into the reality of creational capacity rather than project yourself into a place and space. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Going Dotty. I'm Trey Zegan and in today's video I want to give an alternative breakdown to the concept of manifestation. So let's crack into it. So to break down the mechanics of what's actually happening when somebody is projecting, when we talk about energy, um, we often break it down into the model of frequency, vibration and resonance. And this is a great video to be able to, to explain and for you to understand what frequency, vibration and resonance actually means on a kind of day-to-day -day basis when you're actually working with these things and embodying it. So the frequency is like the aspect. It's the element, the part that you're embodying. The frequency is like the identification tab. It's the character that you are within a script or within a story. It is the specifics of the aspect that you are. So our frequency is like the identifiable point. It's like this element that we wear above ourselves. An example would be the different sorts of jobs that somebody has. You know, if somebody is a teacher, um, a secondary school teacher, a primary school teacher, whatever, you know, the sort of characteristics and the moral codes, the conduct that that sort of individual has to embody on a day-to-day -day basis because of the role that they live within the larger social sphere, that's a sort of frequency, you know? Whereas somebody who is, you know, the head of an accounts department in a large corporation, they're going to embody a different frequency. And a lot of the times I think jobs really are an indicator of frequency. You know, we often feel like we can judge, understand or know somebody just because we know what they do for a living. And this has got to do with how our conscious construct likes to streamline information. You know, life is so overwhelming. There are so many details and there are so many people within the world and our worlds that our brain has to streamline data in some way, shape or form. And I suppose we categorize people within these frequency bandwidths. You're this type of person, you're that type of person, you do this, you do that, you're like this, you're like that. All of these are frequencies. They're that kind of identifiable fingerprint that makes you go, aha, I know what that is. So what happens with this kind of, this modern spiritual concept that really seems to have, you know, fire taken to it of man manifesting and manifestation is that if you think a certain thought, you saturate yourself and you tell yourself that I am that frequency, I am that person, I, I do this thing, and that eventually everything will warp around you and the opportunity will fall in, or you know your world will convert and contort for you to have the opportunity to embody this frequency. And we've already covered off what happens to people who aren't successful in achieving that frequency. But let's just look at for a moment people who do get the opportunity to sit within that frequency. So the next element of that that comes into the fore is this concept of vibration. You know, so if somebody has manifested themselves into a position, can they actually hold the daily vibrational pattern of living within that? You know, let's say somebody has manifested a certain sort of social positioning for themselves. And the easiest thing that comes to my mind at this moment is this kind of social influencer, because, you know, there's a lot of um, understanding or belief system, with, particularly within the younger generations and the digital age, you know, this is a goal and aspiration in life for people to have a high quality of life while presumably putting in a low quality of effort. But the reality of it is, let's just say somebody does project themselves and manifest themselves the position of being a social media influencer, you know, can they actually sustain living and embodying that frequency on a day-to-day -day basis? Because if you just try to manifest your way into a place or project yourself into a position, you don't necessarily have the tools on the sides or in the back end to sustain that on an ongoing basis. And that's where all of this stuff can really become quite difficult. Because if you don't actually have, you know, the skills to maintain it, it's eventually going to crumble. And this is one of the difficulties about manifestation. Just because you manifest something or you manifest and move your life and your world into something doesn't mean you're going to be able to keep yourself there. And how much of this as well is about an inner eye perception, 
you have the vision of something, you have the thought of something, but then if that turns up in reality, is it what you thought that it was? Is that something that you're going to be able to enjoy or sustain and be with? So when we're talking about, you know, projecting our frequency into a place or a situation or a role so that we can have that, can you actually keep up with that on a day-to-day -day basis, the, the vibrational pattern of what is required for that? And then we have the final element of it, which is to do with the resonance. So resonance is sort of similar to vibration, but the resonance is more like, you know, the ripples that go out in the water. If we think of a vibration as the skipping stone that goes over the water and the kind of movement, the resonance is the ripples that the stone touching the water makes. It's how it affects everything else around it. You know, like if a person has projected themselves into a position and if they're able to sustain it, well, how does that affect the lives and the worlds of others around it? And whether the person, the individual, can uphold and sustain with the, the truth of that resonance. So let's just say, for example, if somebody, you know, manifests themselves to be this kind of social media influencer and they're able to sustain with the daily working model of that, they're able to keep up with the vibration, realistically, they'll probably find that that role is more work than they thought that it was because when they saw it themselves on their phone or whatever, it seemed very, oh, it's just pictures or it's just, you know, a quick video or it's, it's just whatever. And then they realize actually doing that, oh, this is quite a lot of work. But let's say they're able to keep to quite a lot of work um, and they're able to sustain the vibration of it. Well, are they actually able and willing? Do they have the personal growth and development tools to be able to live with the consequences of that, which is the resonance? So if you're talking about a social media influencer and if you're talking about it in terms of it being like the fashion industry or the beauty industry, well, you know, what if the result of that is your family think that you're really vain and, and, and that affects your relationship? Or what if your friendship circle, you know, start to be jealous of your success and they can't handle the resonance of your success? They're not happy for you. And these are the realities of manifesting something different in life. You know what I mean? Along the roads and the route that a lot of the traditional manifestation models that are currently available, like purport, you know, think what you want and you will get yourself there, is a very narrow bandwidth of a very full experience. Life is something that we embody. It's something that happens all around us. It happens within us and then it happens outside of us as well. And it's been able to keep a, a pace and a, at peace with all of those elements concurrently. Really, I think what manifestation is talking about is it's talking about creation. Because manifestation is making something materialize, making something physical, coming from a higher level to a lower level so that it embodies in our world. So, you know, something can start off as an inspiration and then the mind, the mental body energy starts actually calibrating how to achieve that. And then the emotional body prepares for how will I do this? How will I sustain the vibrational quality required? How will I hold and embody the resonance to be able to sustain all of this? And then it starts to manifest in the life and world because people do the work. They output the export needed in order to gain the return, which is a simple model of how we create things. We move the motion of life around us. We expend our energy and our effort in certain ways and models in order to sort of garner certain sort of results. You know, we always mold things, we, we move things, we have intentions, we set actions forward and we create. So manifestation to my mind, especially in the upcoming times, is much more going to move into the reality of creational capacity rather than project yourself into a place and space. And so I think with this in mind, a better route and a better model for us is when we talk about manifestation or certainly manifestation as it, as it, as it has been, it's kind of like talking about the vision, you know, the top end, what are you wanting to achieve? Whereas if you want to be successful in the long term and sustainably successful, I would suggest that you more build it from the base up. You drop down to the bottom of the door and you sustain it. You know, if there's something that you want to achieve, um, irregardless of what that is, if we can have a long term view, if we can look down the tunnel of time and realize, identify the frequency that you want to be. You know, who am I? 
what am I offering in the world, you know, and then understanding how do I achieve that? What is that reasonably going to mean I have to lend to the situation and building the situation on a day-to-day -day basis? What is the vibrational pattern that I'm going to have to fulfill? What are the consequences? How am I going to be able to deal with that? The resonance. And I think that we've probably reached a stage where that old model, people are realizing it doesn't work quite so completely as we expect it to. And this feeds back into the concept of, again, mental health. What do we do when we feel like we have failed at something quite simple and quite primary, when actually it just wasn't explained fully and completely to us? To try and put a bit of a positive spin on it, one thing that I can suggest about projection is that projection can be a useful tool for us to be able to generate a mind map for ourselves. You know, if you do have a vision and something that you're trying to work towards and when you're thinking about that, to a certain extent, we are going to be projecting. If you're trying to imagine, you know, a new life or a new world model for yourself, what will that be like? What will the experiences be? To a certain extent, we are projecting what is into what could be and we are building a model. So there is a certain amount of projection that can be useful. There's also a certain amount of if we're trying to embody the higher principles than are already innately available to us, if we're trying to be more positive, if we're trying to be more open, we do to a certain extent have to project, you know, as if, act as if, pretend as if things are, and then after the moment, go away and process, deal with and integrate that gap in space. That's what a lot of processing and integration is. So projection in and of itself is a psychological tool and it can be used in a beneficial, positive manner. But it's about that fine line of what's healthy and what's not healthy. You know, if we're, as I say, dreaming, envisioning something, you know, if we're you're trying to prepare for something as well, there's a certain amount of projection. You're trying to build the landscape in your mind's eye. You're trying to set your own self within that and prepare for that structure. However, utilizing these tools absolutely and you know, in isolation as a way to manifest and create in our life, in our world, is not, in my opinion, a balanced, integrated and cohesive way to be going about being a sustainable creator, being happy and consistent within your magnetic force, within your spiritual body and within your conscious system. And again, that's why I kind of offer this as an alternative angle to the current modern concept of manifestation. So that's it for today's video on manifestation. Just trying to give a bit of an alternative angle on it in the hope that this helps some people and empowers others to be able to manifest successfully with your own life and within your own world. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will talk to you guys again. Bye.